How's it going guys? World we're here coming to you from the man cave. Ran several tests with the Bussy Hellraiser Terra Monkey or Terra Monkey Hellraiser, however you want to say it. And um, I kind of ran it side by side, not really trying to compare which one was better or anything, but just I have a lot of experience, you know, using my chop wild, and this is the first time I've ever used um, this Hellraiser. So I kind of, they're very close in size, so I kind of ran them side by side together to um, basically see how they performed against each other, but not really trying to figure out which one is better, just, you know, seeing where they each stand. Um, off, before we do very much else, let's, I'm done with the test, but let's go ahead and check out the edge on this. Absolutely no chips, rolls, dings, or anything else like that. Nothing wrong with the handle. Some very, some smoothing on the coating a little bit from putting it through a log. And tried battening with it. Now let's, a couple insights or overview of it or whatever. Alright. Now the handle on this one, for me anyway, my hands ain't real big or whatever, but I, there is a couple hot spots for me. Mostly it's right in here. The way this lumps up, I mean I like the shape or whatever, it looks good, but in use, the way it shapes up and the way this is milled in so much, it kind of it kind of gets rough on my fingers, you know. If I had to use this for a, one for a long period of time, I would wear gloves. Just because my finger kind of matches up right where that hole is. And I kept finding myself trying to come up higher on it, you know. And I, I, till I'm almost up onto, onto the blade, you know. I don't want to do that, you know. So, if this was mine, I would probably sand this down a little bit. But this is not mine. <laughs> it's Elof. I would not be sanding anything down. No worries. Um, on the chop wilder. There's not that handle, there's not that shaping, you know. There's no shaping, it's pretty flat. But that works extra well for me. And now, when I got this, I did sand the ridges down a little bit because they were a little rough when I first got it. So I did smooth them down, they're still there, as you can see. But I smoothed them down a little bit to make it more comfortable with my hands, you know. This is my favorite knife because of the handle. I can just, if I want a power chop, I grab it back here. If I need to choke up one, I grab it up here. Reverse holds are very easy, you know. So, excellent knife. One thing I really like about this blade shape is the way the spine comes in and it has that upper little lip or whatever right here. I really like that because, you know, you sink the piece of wood into right here and then you have this whole section right here. If you need to bat and you got room to hit right here. Very nice, you know. I mean, it, were, it works great for that. Also, the geometry on this is very nice as well. Um, the edge is not too thick. Like a lot of knives can be, I'm coming straight from the factory, a lot of times they're really thick. But this did very well, you know, it's, it cut right through the water bottle. Um, it ate up paper, you know, it shredded paper really easy. It actually did better than the chalk wallet when it comes to cutting the paper. Um, it still chops well, you know, it's got a thinner spine. So it has, so it has a little less bite I noticed you know it bites a little it doesn't bite quite as deep as the chop waller but it still bites pretty good for the weight and everything it, the weight's really well distributed um it's it's kind of like right at where the talon hole is I guess maybe a little bit behind it or yeah, kind of hard to with this camera in my hand It's almost right where the first rivet in the talon hole meets. It's kind of weighted out. And the chop waller weights out in about the same place. Maybe just a little bit more forward. But they're both very impressive knives. I like them both. I'd like to thank Elof for giving me the opportunity to run some tests with this. I'll get it cleaned up for you, bud. Thanks for watching.